the way in which we ask the interpreter to tell us information based on the facts that we've provided is by giving it queries. A query contains one or more relations, and those may contain variables. In fact, facts can contain variables too, but we are not going to see those examples for another few slides. Variables are symbols starting with question mark. So let's say I've stated all of these facts already. So I've created some representation of the family tree of all of my presidential dogs. In the logic language, I issue a query by writing down an expression where the first symbol is query. And then I can write any relation I want. And I indicate that this is a partially specified relation by including variables. So this says parent of Abraham, question mark, puppy which is read as there's a parent relation between Abraham and some puppy. A variable could have any name I want as long as it starts with question mark. What the logic language is going to do with this query is it's going to try to find facts that it already knows that satisfy this relation. And that will involve substituting some symbol for puppy. And it will tell us which puppy satisfies this assignment such that the entire query is true. So that means it's going to find all of the dogs that are in a parent relationship with Abraham, in particular Barack and Clinton. So it will first say success. And then it will say one way to satisfy this is to assign the puppy variable to Barack. So that means that there's some fact out there, parent Abraham Barak, which is true. And here it is, parent Abraham Barak. And then again, it will keep going and say, by the way, there's another way to satisfy this, which would be to assign puppy to Clinton. So if there's more than one variable in the relation, then all the complete assignment that satisfies the query will be printed on one line. And each subsequent line describes an entirely different assignment of values to variables that satisfies the query. So each line here is an assignment of variables to values, and there are more things we can do. Let's finally take a look at how the logic programming language works. So I've specified these same facts that I showed you before in a file. And I'll start up logic. Now the logic prompt tells us that it's waiting for me to enter some expression. The first expression that I'm going to enter is not a fact or a query, but instead a load expression, which just tells me to load the contents of some file. This file is called x.logic because it's our today's example. Okay, so we've loaded all of these things in. We similarly could have just copied and pasted this in and that would have worked fine. Um, and now we can issue that same query that I showed you before. What is it that's the case where we have a parent relationship between Abraham and some puppy? And it will tell us success, as long as that puppy is Barack or Clinton. And we could even have uh, two variables in the same expression. We could say, who is the sire and who is the pup? in every parent relation, and it will say, yes, there is such a way of satisfying this query. Abraham sired Barack, Abraham sired Clinton, Delano sired Herbert, etc., all the way down. I could even ask, what is everything that I know? And then it will say, well, here are the relations that I know, where I have a variable what? assigned not just to a single symbol, but a whole list of symbols. If I was only interested in the parent relationship, I could specify what are all the parent pairs by using a dotted list, which means that the variable will be a representation of the rest of the list. And it will tell me all of the rest of the lists that form a parent relation in the set of facts that I've created so far.